Welcome to the NatFL channel. Today we bring you three news about Miami Dolphins. 1. Projecting Dolphins offensive starters after first wave of free agency. 2. What does Will Fuller's contract agreement with Dolphins look like? 3. Which Miami Dolphins WR is on hot seat after of Will Fuller signing? Now let's find out about news first. The Miami Dolphins haven't necessarily come out swinging with the same level of aggression that we saw from the team in 2020's free agency window, a stretch that saw the Dolphins set a high watermark for cash commitments in free agency. And while Miami took advantage of the talent influx and won 10 football games in 2020, such a model of team building is not a sustainable model of attacking a roster. Hence why we're seeing a more calculated approach from the Dolphins this offseason. But the results are still quite appealing. What will the Dolphins look like on the offensive side of the football? Here's what Miami's starters looked like at the end of the 2020 season. QB, Tua Tungavailoa. RB, Miles Gaskin. WR, Devontae Parker. WR, Preston Williams. WR, Albert Wilson, opt-out, Jakeem Grant. Tay, Mike Jasicki, LT. Austin Jackson, LG. Eric Flowers, O.C., Ted Karras, R.G., Solomon Kindley, R.T., Robert Hunt. With four rookies and significant injuries, losses to the wide receiver room, Miami closed the season undermanned and too inexperienced for the gravity of the moment in Week 17. But here's how things are shaping up for the Dolphins as things currently stand after the first few days of the 2021 league calendar year, QB, Tua Tungavailoa, R.B., Miles Gaskin, W.R., Devontae Parker, W.R., Will Fuller, New, W.R., Albert Wilson, Returning, Tay, Mike Jasicki, L.T., Austin Jackson, L.G., Eric Flowers, O.C., Matt Skura, New, R.G., Solomon Kindley, R.T., Robert Hunt, a returning starter in Albert Wilson, or Preston Williams, plus an extremely dynamic player in Will Fuller and a more experienced starter at center, 51 career starts versus 36 for Karras, in Matt Skura are the immediate changes, but the current projection doesn't include Miami's addition of 2020 first-round tackle Isaiah Wilson, either. If, and that's a huge if, Miami can get Wilson motivated and focused, he could challenge for time at right tackle and potentially move Robert Hunt inside to guard. And from there, the Dolphins' objective for the rest of free agency in the 2021 NFL Draft will be clear. Draft good players and make sure you add more depth and speed to the skill positions. For all the frustrations of a quiet start for Miami, the team has several new starters to look forward to already and we've only just begun the process. Next news we bring to you. What does Will Fuller's contract agreement with Dolphins look like? For the vast majority of the week, Miami Dolphins fans collectively held their breath while waiting for the team to identify the right standout wide receiver to invest into during the 2021 free agency window. For the first few days, it appeared as though the Dolphins were simply going to punt on the group altogether. Miami was passive with top names like Kenny Galladay, Juju Smith-Schuster and others, leaving Miami's interest in a veteran in doubt. But Miami made their big splash on Thursday afternoon with the addition of former Houston Texans receiver Will Fuller, who was on pace for a 1,200-yard season in 2020 before a six-game suspension forced him to miss the final five games of the year in what was clearly his best effort yet in the pros. The best part for the Dolphins? They've set themselves up to have a long-term commitment with Fuller without actually having to sign a massive long-term commitment. The details are in for Fuller's contract courtesy of the Houston Chronicle's Aaron Wilson. The Dolphins will pay Fuller at least $10.625 million in 2021. That figure is fully guaranteed on a one-year deal. But Fuller, based on his production in 2021, will be able to tack on up to an additional $3 million in payouts. And, if all goes well, the Dolphins will get the first crack at negotiating a longer-term deal with Fuller once the NFL sees the salary cap begin to balloon once again. That should be a guarantee after the NFL closed a massive television deal this week to lock in a decade of broadcast coverage. For now, Fuller's fate is in his own hands. Miami is paying comfortably for his services, but his $10.625 million base value checks in lower than that of other 2021 free agent receivers like Curtis Samuel, Nelson Aguilar and Corey Davis. 
That should be considered a win for Miami and a credit to their patient approach to getting a deal done. And the last news we bring to you is, which Miami Dolphins WR is on hot seat after of Will Fuller signing? With the addition of Will Fuller to the Dolphins' wide receiver room still fresh, there will sure to be plenty of fallout with his presence in 2021. One of the more pressing questions is which wide receiver currently on the Dolphins' roster will see their role and opportunity bumped due to Fuller's presence. A big-time vertical receiver with blazing speed, Fuller is a game-breaker who can attack defenses vertically in stress zones, allowing him to serve as a catalyst for the entire offense. Of course, for Fuller's presence to take full effect, the Dolphins will need to go over the top on a handful of occasions and force teams to respect their ability to load up and take shots, something that the offense didn't do enough of in 2020 with rookie QB Tua Tungavailoa at the helm. That could be, in part, because Miami didn't have a lot of targets capable of putting that same strain on the defense. Their one true blazing speed threat, Jakeem Grant, struggled to catch the football down the field in 2020 after getting yet another opportunity to prove himself as an every-down pass catcher and take the proverbial glass ceiling off his reputation as a player. But between Fuller's addition and the addition of Robert Foster earlier in the week, Grant's role in the offense certainly feels like the one that is currently under the microscope. Grant had one brutal misplay on a deep shot against Cincinnati last season and had several mistimed efforts against the Broncos early in a midseason loss in Denver. Add in a misplayed adjustment on a deep shot against the Chiefs that resulted in an interception before the end of the half, a play that helped Miami's then 10-7 lead unravel quickly, and Grant's deep work resume left plenty of chunk plays and opportunities on the field last season. Chemistry will need to be developed. But Fuller is a much more proven player in this respect, and with Fuller's cost against the 2021 salary cap, Miami is going to presumably need to make a handful of moves to shuffle the deck and ensure they can remain cap-compliant in time for the 2021 NFL Draft. Grant will carry a $4.69 million cap hit this season, but the Dolphins could save between $2.9 million and $4.1 million if they chose to part ways with him between now and the start of training camp pre- or post-June 1st cut pending. Grant has been one of the Dolphins' most successful special teamers during his five-year run with the team. But his cap cost and combined six drops and four fumbles over his last 24 games in 2019 and 2020 are a hard pill to swallow, especially when you factor in his career 9.7% drop rate, 14 drops on 143 career targets. Miami can cover Grant's return capabilities elsewhere, and Fuller will undoubtedly gobble up Grant's reps as the only capable speed receiver on the roster in 2021.